All right, everybody, we are gonna start work on the apocalypse tank. I'm really excited for this. And I hope that this filming is gonna work out. I've got the camera, basic, basically it's, it's on the other side. So I'm gonna be working kind of upside down from the view of the camera. If this doesn't work out, I won't do it like this again, but I think this is gonna give a great view of everything that I'm doing. Um, and I'll try to remember to flip it when I do the editing. But as we already looked at the Apocalypse Tank, um, very Command and Conquer-like, even though they don't say Command and Conquer anywhere on here. You know, if you haven't seen this, I'll put a link uh, up around here so you can see the original unboxing where I kind of talk about it a little bit, um, where I believe this model comes from, even though they don't say it anywhere. But uh, Border Model has made some very nice kits from what I understand in 135 scale. I haven't built anything, uh, but um, I, I understand that they've done some, some really nice stuff. Um, you can do this one without painting. Um, they have some uh, different color moldings, pieces of different colors. And then they have examples where you can uh, paint it all. And, you know, it doesn't look very different here, but I'm going to be painting this whole thing. Um, they say you can even build this without gluing it. I'm going to be building this as a traditional scale model, painted, glued, weathered, and everything. One of the cool things is it comes with some LED lights. And the one thing I've done prior to building is just messing around, because I've never really done LED lights. I, I kind of I set that up to see where it would be beforehand, because the LEDs have to go through the hull, through the turret. There's uh, two lights for the headlights and then one for the turret searchlight. It's not really that complicated at all, but um, on the back of this circuit, uh, board right here. Oh, I turned on already. There's a little gold contact pad. Um, on the box I see tactile switch and I didn't really know what that meant, but it is touch activated. And yeah, so you know that this board presses right into place there. I guess you don't even need to press on the little thing, is it? Oh, oh it's weird. Um, in here, we have three, um, I want to get the type right, LR43 batteries. Um, I had to wrap them together to get them to stay. I tried to put them in individually and they just bounced all over the place. So uh, from the battery set, we've got the spring, we've got the uh, negative connection right there. We've got the wires, the wires come all connected to the circuit board. And once you get them all together, they light up. There we go. Um, now I have no experience in doing this, so there you go. Um, I traditionally, just for my personal benefit, I'd like to start building tanks from the turret. That's just the way I like to do it, even though just about every model kit out there has you start with the hull, even, even this one. But as I was going through the instructions, um, the way that the LEDs are wired, it does make some sense to start your construction with the turret here so that you can get that circuit board mounted because the circuit board is in there and then it goes through the bottom of the turret and then they get mounted through the turret ring into the top of the top of the whole piece. So it actually does kind of, in this case, actually make sense to start your building with the turret. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build up that turret and uh, then we will be able to feed the LEDs through the top of the hull. So let's get set up and I'll uh, pick some appropriate music for you guys to listen to as I build this. Primarily, we're gonna be using parts from sprues A, B, C, and E, some random parts from other sprues here and there, and of course, the turret piece itself. To me, an extra thin quick set, a good choice for this and most projects. Remember, this kit is made so that technically everything press fits together and you don't have to glue it. And the pieces, for the most part, do press fit together very well. But I'm going to be gluing everything like it's a conventional model kit.
all of the hatches on this tank are hinged, so to speak. They can they can kind of open up a little bit, but there's no interior to speak of, so might as well just glue them closed. I have no good explanation for switching the background up like this, but it did take a little bit of wire bending and finagling to get that spotlight in just where it needs to be, but it fits nicely and uh, unfortunately I glued it in a way that it doesn't rotate or elevate anymore, but it works. These articulated mantlet covers are really cool. Make sure you don't glue them down if you're gluing down hatches, otherwise your main guns won't be able to elevate. At this point, the major turret build is done. We're, we're finished with all these little steps. We're gonna move on to the sub-assemblies that built out the turret with all of its accessories. What you might not notice here are the smoke launchers on the sides of the turret, and we're about to put the external armor on over them. We're going to move on to the turret mounted machine gun, which is a pretty decent sub assembly itself, as are these uh, missile launchers, so let's get to them. Just gotta say, this is a pretty big machine gun for this scale. Pretty impressive. With the gun completed here, you've got this little remote sensor on it, which is cool, and you've got this ammunition chute, which is cool, but warning, if you are going to use that, it does restrict the elevation of the gun a little bit because it's a fixed piece.
Well, here is our finished turret. Uh, it's actually pretty fun to put together. Uh, overall, I'd give this thing like a nine and a half out of 10 for, for fit and um, you know molding and everything. It was a really nice kit to put together so far. Uh, I love that we have these really fully articulated pieces. Um, in terms of realism, well, we don't have that much because it doesn't actually exist, but you know, we've got great elevation and depression on the gun barrels. Um, we have a lot of movement in here. Um, every, like I said, everything went together really well. We have a decent amount of detail. And, um, you know, the lights are a nice touch too. I'm looking forward to finishing the whole thing and getting it all painted and weathered. So I will probably do it in a modern Soviet scheme. We'll see. We'll get to working on the hull real soon. I have a few concerns when it comes to the hull and mounting this in there with the lights. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do a full 360 degree rotation uh, for the turret based on, on the wiring and everything, but we'll find out real soon. We'll get to building the hull real soon. Hope you'll join me. And for everybody out there building in YouTube land with your own projects, keep building them, build them well. I'll see you again with the next part real soon.